My next guest is no stranger at having her feet put to the fire. <laughs> She's a seven-time world barbecue champion, cookbook author, season four judge of Destination America's Pitmaster, and owner of Memphis Barbecue Company. Joining us from Hernando, Mississippi, is Melissa Cookston. Melissa, so good to see you. You too. I love it. So we have pork tenderloin. This is the first time ever for me to grill pork tenderloin, but you've got a phenomenal recipe. You're going to walk us through it. Why do you like the pork tenderloin? It is so moist and so juicy and so tender that, uh, you know, it is my go-to, especially when I'm in a hurry to make dinner. Oh, I love that. Okay, so you've got your seasoning mix that you have there. You have a, a, a pared-down version for the Tam Fam. I do. Uh, just get you some salt, some pepper, onion powder, granulated garlic, a little chili powder, a little paprika. Great seasonal. Okay, and oh, you know what I love about this too? You can store it. If we don't have the one that you prepare there for yourself that you package, we can make our own and store it. Right. Those resealable bags are great or airtight containers. Okay. They keep seasonings for a long time. All right, so let's start on our tenderloin here. So we've got our spice blend. Right, so you just wanna make sure that you've evenly coated on all sides. Okay, love that. And don't be afraid. Oh, I'm not afraid. Season and, your food. Yes, <laughs> season your food, especially barbecue, because people underestimate how much seasoning, especially um, a cut of meat like a pork tenderloin, how much seasoning you need to soak through on that flavor. Okay, so we've got our pork tenderloin properly seasoned. We've not been afraid. We've been liberal with it. What's next? Go straight to the grill with it. Okay. I love that. Where do you like positioning a huge cut of meat like this? Um, you know, I, I usually set up kind of a two-zone fire, but straight over the coals is fine. Okay. Uh, because it's only going to take two to three minutes per side. So. Two to three minutes. That is a fast dinner. That's right. Okay. I've got my pork tenderloin on there. Before the break, my team reminded me to oil the grill before you put it on, so it's all nice and oiled up there. Now, I am so fascinated by this blackberry jam you have here. I started making some, some jams uh, that were interesting. So I mixed blackberry and basil together and, and made a jam. And it's so good on biscuits, mm. but it's also good to make for sauces. Okay, and how do we make our own? We're gonna start by using our blackberry jam, about a cup of that. Okay. And mine's blackberry basil already, but you're gonna add some basil to yours, some fresh basil, but we're gonna wait on that. Okay, and we have for the blackberry jam, balsamic vinegar, you already mentioned the basil, we got right. mustard, honey, black pepper, all put into this saucepan, right? And we're gonna put that on the grill as well. Oh, you do the same, okay, I like that. The chef right before you, David, he did the same thing. This is a technique I've never used before, putting right on there. So I've got my blackberry jam. This looks amazing. What what does this do? How does this complement our pork tenderloin, Melissa? You get that great smoky flavor from the grill mm -hmm. um, when you cook mm. your sauces on the grill with your with your I meat, love that with your okay. protein. My tenderloin yeah. is on, my sauce is on the grill. I'm gonna take off my pork tenderloin to let it rest a bit, right? Because you want your meat to rest, correct? About two to three minutes for a tenderloin, that's great. Oh, okay, great. While that's resting, I know you have a great asparagus recipe that's a huge hit. You've got the recipe right here. Walk me through this one. All right, so we're gonna marinate our asparagus with some red wine vinegar, garlic, soy sauce, mm. olive oil, salt, and pepper. Nice. And we're going to marinate that um, in the fridge for about 30 minutes. 30 minutes, oh, that's perfect. I it. love that how fast this is. I thought you were gonna say overnight. Okay, so I've got my pork tenderloin out. It's resting, I'm gonna put my asparagus on. Now, this is a risky move for me. My, I always lose asparagus in between the grains. Is there a tip here? Put it cross ways. Okay. <laughs> All right, put it crossways. Now, Melissa, I have tried that even too, but okay, here we go. We've got our asparagus. Oh, see, I told you, I don't know what it is. I Something with me and asparagus, but okay, I've got my asparagus on there. You're just gonna let that grill for a few minutes. And while we're doing that, we're gonna put our glaze on our pork tenderloin. Yes, ma'am, just brush it on liberally. Mm. Look how shiny it is. Oh, all right, I have a finished oh, piece over so here. Good. That's all glazed up nice and beautiful. It's rested so the juices are marinating in there. Now that asparagus won't take but just um, a minute okay. to cook. 
All right, so because our- Because you don't want to overcook your asparagus. We don't want to overcook our asparagus. I still asparagus. like mine crunchy. Okay, I do too, I like mine crunchy. So we're gonna slice through this tenderloin here. This is beautiful. All right, I'm not the best slicer in the world, as you can just see that. And we finish it off here with the asparagus and the pork tenderloin. Yes, ma'am, and I always like to drizzle a little extra because I'm a little extra. Okay, oh, that right looks delicious, Melissa. Oh my goodness, and you finish it off with a little basil. A little Parmesan on mm. top because my husband loves Parmesan on top of the asparagus. And um, I always love to garnish with herbs and, and edible flowers, so. It is looking you good. You can everything on the plate. I love it, Melissa. Okay, right. I'm gonna dig in right now. This is beautiful, and I think best of all, with all that flavor, you're not gonna be at the grill all day long. Well, Melissa, thank you so much for joining us. Melissa's cookbook, Smoking in the Boys' Room, is available now where books are sold. And you can find today's recipe and more information on Memphis Barbecue Company on TamaronHallShow.com.